And we're live. We've got bananas in chat from BG Monster X1 Fan, Pony Hunter, Winnie T Fords, Badger Spanner, Matt, Matty, Matty 2. There's two Matts. There's Matt Rats and Matt. Uh, Ledge to Fox, Zodiac Siren, Tabsy Ragu, Sprinkles and Wrinkles. Love that name. He derps his takeover game. See? I haven't even started and someone thinks I've derped. Puzzle Freck, Dusty923, Nurella, uh, it's boy here. Thank you for all the bananas in chat. Also, Slush is awesome and Snuffkin. Thank you ever so much for the bananas. I appreciate it, and it means we're live on twitch.tv slash Asuma, where we are doing a live stream. We got noises in here from Puzzle Freck for 24 months in a row. That's two years of support. Thank you ever so much, my friend. Truly appreciate it. Can't thank you enough. Winnie T Ford is here for 21 months, saying quickly approaching two years. Keep up the entertaining content, X. It's a pleasure to work with you. Likewise, Winnie, can't thank you enough for all you do in the community. Um, on tomorrow's meeting, I desperately want to be able to attend and talk. I probably won't be around when the meeting happens, but uh, if I wake up early and stuff just goes well, I might be. I'm going to try and aim it in that direction, but I'll see how the day goes. Thank you, Winnie, as always. FW Games is here for 14 months with the bananas in chat. Thank you ever so much, FW Games. Appreciate your support, and I hope you enjoy the stream. Malone Macro says, did you derp? Apparently, I derp all day long. Yeah, someone's always accusing me of doing a derp, basically. We're three and a half hours into the nuclear complex zone. Let's uh, zoom out, let's pause. I know exactly what we're doing. Exactly what we're doing. Zodiac Siren is here, resubscribed for eight months in a row, saying, Eight months already? It's happy to be here, listening to your voice, and a part of this awesome community. Glad to have you with us ever so much, Zodiac. Appreciate your continued support. Hope you're uh, enjoying the stream today. Lizzie Best says hello. Welcome, Lizzie. We've got Stomney in chat saying, Most of us are just really like watching you. But we don't have Prime or something, and that is absolutely fine. I've got to thank all of y'all that turn up to watch the streams that don't even subscribe. I appreciate all of you being here. It is a pleasure to be able to play games and hang out with you lot. Now, what we got to do is make Blast Compound. I know that we've got to make that. I do actually need to refresh my mind. No, it's coming back to me. It's because of power. We now have an impact reactor. I feel like we unlocked something else here as well. RTD generator. So you give it these things and it does 180 units per second. The Thorium reactor does oh way, way more. Impact reactor. Okay, this is what we want to bring online. It's going to need cryofluid and blast compounds. So we need it near titanium. We need to learn how to make blast compounds. So our next priority is that. And then we'll start to work on making phase fabric stuff and plastineum and all of that. Let's have a look. Uh, I think it's called a mixer. Alloy smelter. Blast mixer. Okay, so we give it papyrate and spore pods. And then it makes blast compound. So I've got to make papyrate. And that wants coal, lead and sand. This is going to be one of the most complex things I've ever done. That being said... Is this thing free wide? It's too wide. That being said, I've learned a lot with this right here. This is essentially a very similar to Factorio uh, thing going on here. So if ever we stack belts alongside heading somewhere like that, it allows us to do such a thing. But I, I got a feeling this might be more complicated. So sand and lead can certainly be pumped in. It uses less coal and we're running out of coal patches. Now here's something that generates coal out of nothing. We could take actually coal out the side here and move it somewhere else. Titanium being the next thing we need. There's titanium in this area. Am I getting that wrong? Is it lead? It's lead and sand. We got noises in the ear from DJ Eckle for 25 months. That's incredible. Thank you so much DJ Eckle. Truly appreciated. Full Velocity here for four months saying what's on your Christmas list? Uh, absolutely nothing. <laughs> I don't do Christmas lists. I'm too old for that. Um, full Velocity, thank you ever so much for your four months of support. Dusty923 is here with cheers and bits, saying, I'm all subbed out, but I can throw you some bits. Been watching you for years, so you're worth it. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate you watching over time. And uh, thank you for saying that. It means a lot. And thank you for the bits. We've got Badger Spanner doing cheers and bits, saying, freezing cold day. 
snuggled in my duvet with a pot of tea and an extreme. stream everything's coming up Millhouse I said that to someone just the other day I love that quote everything's coming up Millhouse I literally said that yesterday now, who did I say it to I can't remember uh, I definitely wasn't streaming yesterday so I didn't say it on a stream right you don't put red rings in the Argos catalog <laughs> I do not, I do not. Um, thank you again, Badger. Appreciate the continued support. I get to that point in this level where I look at everything that's going on and I just think, you know, if we could redo the belts, we could come up with some far better systems for stuff, right? But I think it's too late for that. I think we're, we're quite deep into our project here, so we need to kind of continue uh, in the same vein. Now, we do actually have access to coal over here, raw coal. We could potentially... Um, surge tower. I'm really not sure what that even does. Oh, am I doing things? Could potentially mine up some resources here. We have lead, we have coal, we have scrap and copper. And it kind of looks like... Oh, I see what I did. Yeah, I see what that's doing. Okay. We'll leave that thing there. And let's go over this again. Lead, sand, coal. So I can, I can turn scrap, it's all here, it's just the coal isn't in a big quantity. So this space up here could pump more coal if we built a little facility for it. So I think what we'll look at doing is bringing all of those things together over here. I've just noticed something. In theory, does that, no that doesn't have a problem. Anyway, I think what I want to do here is give ourselves maximum amount of space. That would be the goal. So a little bridge conveyor over that block. This going over here and doing the same thing again. Two junctions. So now it's just going to send all of that stuff. Well, it's not, is it? It's not going to do that. And just like that, we all good. And we got a noise in the ear. It's Manex Boy resubscribing for 36 months. That's three years saying that mouse be derping again. Oh well. Ah, all you've got to do is tell me. And now the mouse should no longer be derping, right? Is the derpiness of the mouse gone away? I now see a couple of other people pointing it out in chat. Uh, Prod says, first time watching my industry straight away got Factorio vibes. Yeah, it's a top down. Tower Defense Factorio game. Uh, we're going to get rid of all of that. Okay, and then we're going to pump our lead over from this side to the other. Should we use power to get the lead out here? We really need to play with that kind of attitude, I think. Then we can put a pump right next to it. Then these belts can come out. Going to borrow from there as well. And I've got a feeling I might just want to skip down one block here. I'm not sure exactly why. Maybe two, looking at that. Okay, so we'll get rid of all of that. Very good. And now we're building this. Cool! We got lead. Ooh, do we have power? I don't think we do. Now we've got power. Okay, so the lead's going to get pumped out across here. That's terrific. We need to get the coal out of the ground. Uh, probably just going to put two of, two of those there. Coal can come out facing downwards because it will have room for more from the top. And then we've got to turn scrap into sand, which we do using... Is it pulverizer? That's the one. Scrap into sand. So I think what we'll do is use one of our drills again. Laser drill there. And we'll do it on the opposite side in case we need access to more of this. I wonder if we can put it straight in. I'm going to guess it doesn't, but we'll find out. And then that will be our sand. Okay, it needs power is another thing, isn't it? By the way, this song is amazing. Crazy, crazy like war vibes on this song. OK, 
Okay, that'll connect everything together. Yep, it's doing it. Okay, so we've got sand, coal and lead all in the same place. Beautiful. Stomney says, I, ne I never pause the game, actually play in real time. Ah, well, if you play in real time, you're, you're putting like a big challenge on yourself. It's a way you can play. Um, I, I derive so much more fun from figuring things out, taking your time and thinking and progressing than I do being put under pressure. Like, that's not an experience I enjoy too much in gaming, so I don't, wouldn't choose to play that way. But of course, you can play any way you like. That's one of the cool things about games, right? So I think what we'll do um, is we'll get the belts running in parallel. And the place we're going to have them running in parallel is actually going to start higher up here. So already it looks like I'm making things complicated, right? And that's absolutely fine. Complicated is good in our case. So we're going to do that. I'm going to shake things up and do them a little different this time. Okay. Uh, let's even out the bottom. Then what we're going to do is create a junction and a router, like so. This is going to allow us to take all three materials out and point them into a block. Okay, then we're going to take that and repeat it. And I hope that works. I really hope you can stack them. I can't see a reason why you couldn't. Let's also do one more of those, actually, while we're at it. Okay, so we have that. I mean, I, I don't know if there's a reason you shouldn't stack all of these things together. It looks like it would work to me, and it appears to be working. Now all those materials are going into the correct spots. And we have baddies on the map. So, we're going to go grab the papyrate mixer. And we have all the ingredients to make papyrate now. We're going to give them power, because they probably need power, right? Actually, it's not, it's not hooking up to it. Let's have a quick look. It does use power. Could do every other. I think I will. Fight, win, prevail. That's what I say. Uh, Stefan, RBK. Let's resubscribe for six months saying, did I miss the Mumbo prank? Yeah, you did. You know, Mumbo was playing Mind Destroy and we pranked him. Oh yeah, that happened. You missed it, my friend. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it, dude. Thanks for half a year. Joshua says this game looks like Factorio. It's heavily inspired by, fac by Factorio, I imagine. Wesley asks, sorry in advance for something off topic. Do you have any recommendations for how to get involved in the Minecraft building community? I build a lot in my free time. I was wondering if you know about servers for people that build a lot or anything similar. Well, I have a plot world server. Playdollsumervoid.com, Minecraft 1.12. It's a quiet community. It used to be quite big and bustling back in the day. Uh, it might not be what you're looking for, but you can always go there and find other builders. Uh, as for advice, I, you know, I'd recommend getting on Google and just searching around for servers. Planet Minecraft is a good place for finding the community. Uh, as I'm not so like hands-on with it anymore, I'm probably not the best person to advise. I just realised this works both ways. I can pull another array off the other side. That is really good. That is a really good thing to spot really good thing to spot. So we can expand this by putting more on the other side. Huh. Just flipping it. Okay, so in which case we probably want our output to meet at the bottom somewhere, so you know, that for now. And we've got Papyrate. New content has been unlocked. I don't know if we need Papyrate in our tech tree. I do not see Papyrate. I think it's an intermediary that doesn't get used. We can also unlock the Surge Wall, which I've actually just done. Uh, we can unlock Phase Fabric Wall and Surge Alloy Wall. And then that one. Sweet! Okay, so we've finished that little branch of the tech tree. So we've got another one, two, three, four to go. And they require more Surge Alloys, which we're working on. And that's actually it, I think. So we've just got to produce Surge Alloys after this. Uh, but let me remind you, we're trying to make blast mixer um, which requires spore pods for this so let's go ahead and let's get this ready for the large scale uh, by taking that and flipping it putting it there now that bit connects up but that's fine because it's coal and it's got power sorted out beautiful beautiful stuff 
Right, and again, immediately distracted myself. Spore pods, yeah. So we need a way for something to push off into this spot and then have spore pods around here as well. Man, this music is so good. X, your mouse is wrong. People are saying the mouse is wrong again. Did it, did it fix itself earlier and then get better? Let's try and fix it again because... Oh, actually, I think I did something different to fix it. Was it that? Was that? Did that fix it? Let me know. Dusty says, oh, you have an issue with the output between the papyrus factories. Oh, you're kind of right. I can see it going wrong there. Hmm. Is there an intelligent solution available? Because that means I have to space each and every one of them out a little bit further, which sucks. Ah. Um. I don't think... I think I might be able to use a filter block. So say we put a sorter there. If an item matches the selection, it will be allowed to pass through. Otherwise, the output item is outputted to left and right. With an inverted sorter. So if I give it coal... Okay, this might end up backing up. But let's say we build that and I give it coal. Coal can go through. Now, will it copy the filter if I do it like that? I think it does. I don't know if that fix will work or not, but we're going to give it a try. And see what happens. Kind of looks like it might have worked. Cool. Uh, one thing we definitely need to do in this area is increase... Are we still power positive? We're not. We're actually slightly power negative. Which concerns me, because this is in an attempt to get more things going. Right, let's take a couple of these offline for now. And focus on getting this power source up and running. So now we need to mix... Uh, I remember what it was. Spore pods. Let's check out the ratio. Spore press, what does that do? Okay, that's spore pod to oil. Blast mixer. So it wants one for one, which is fine. Production time, one, three, three. Cultivator, production time, two, three, three. So we probably want like a two for one setup around here. So if I go like that, this looks like it could probably do the trick. And then we get our factory thing around here as well. Papyrus mixer, wrong one, blast mixer. Maybe something like this is going to work. And then we kind of run out of space. I wonder if we can use bridges here. Where's the old bridge? Did it stop? Did the music stop? Are you kidding me? I put it on random. It's got seven hours and 15 minutes of music to choose from. And it chooses to turn itself off. Well, time for some Bigfoot. I love this track. Love this track. I spent the last 15 minutes logging in just to use your chat. My password is similar to your name, but not the same because you are my favourite streamer. Ah, oh, thank you. Uh, you probably shouldn't tell anybody anything about your passwords. And I also highly recommend using a password manager and using a different password for every website that you are on. If you lose or if someone gains access to your password on one website, and they know your email address and they know your accounts and whatnot. You can lose access to a lot of stuff all at once, which you obviously don't want. So that is, that is Asuma's top tip of the stream. Hashtag top tip. Thanks, Asuma. Now I'm safe online. <laughs> Jeez. Right, um, that, in theory, is our setup. Uh, it's going to require power. Let's put a node here and there. Woo! We in business, my friends. We in the bizzle. Oh, it needs water as well. It needs water. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Okay. Okay. Jeez. You lot. Oh. Oh, is it a derp, is it? Oh, I forgot something. Therefore, it's a derp. You lot. I spoil ya. Look, good thing I left a little bit of space, right? Okay, let's do this. Up to the top. And then we want a bridge. Then we want pumps. Pumps, pumps, pumps. Uh, let's just 
build them here. Oh man, that music. That is my jam, ladies and gentlemen. That weird electronic industrial music. That is my jam. Okay, we're producing it now. Let's go check out how the fence is doing. We're all good and dandy up there by the looks of it. Kidro says, or Kurro says, this game feels like a mixture of Creeper World and Factoria. I might play Creeper World. That might be a good one to stream. I'm going to put that on my list of games I might stream next year. My plan is to wrap up the this game for this year and then next year um, play some other games. I'm probably going to stream uh, like every day in January. Do that again for a month. That was a lot of fun. Okay, that's it. Like, obviously we can increase efficiency and whatnot, but now we need to get this power online. And I don't believe there is too much consequence at work. We do need quiet cryo fluid. I hope it doesn't like have a if it cools down it blows up thing. Massive amounts of power at peak efficiency requires a significant power input to kick start the process. So somewhere around here we need to leave space for coal. Coal production might go in that spot. We need a spot to now I kinda I kinda wanna use a lot of this for defense right but I could put it here or I could reroute there's a lot of space all the way down here we could actually use this I think if we need more in the future we we'll use that space but for now we're gonna do it over here since it's kinda nearby so we've got a wriggle raggle roggle our uh, belts that's an official terminology here on the stream you know the old wriggle raggle roggle come on wriggle raggle There we go. Do you know what? I'm going to take the opportunity to make this belt look even nicer. And I'm going to run it through the corner there. Beautiful! That's the way it should go. Okay. So we're bringing our blast compound over here. And now we need cryofluid. We have um, the ability to pump water in this area. How are we doing on power again? Slowly losing. Slowly losing. Need to get this running up pretty quick. Riggle Raggle Rock says Dusty923. You know that Riggle Raggle Rock. Also, AJ Main, 12 is here for 14 months in a row. AJ, thank you so much for your tremendous support. I appreciate it. Hope you are uh, enjoying the stream. You're entertained. Hope you're enjoying it, having a good time. Appreciate you coming by. Ah, uh, thank you. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Before we get too excited, we also need titanium. So that means we build router junction junction I think actually you only need one junction on the side but we no you would need to you would need to then we go this way and then we come down BAM right uh, AJ Main thank you so much for the support Badger Spanner here with cheers and bits saying only doing this to get the new shiny badge and give some emotes ignore me new shiny badge what is Twitch doing now I am um, out of the loop with the extra stuff they keep adding all the time, right? Banjo, thank you so much as always for your uh, support. It's so shiny. I'm glad you like its shininess. I kind of want to do a Twitch overhaul in January um, and get like a new stream look, but I haven't even reached out to anyone yet. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping to make a whole bunch of new badges and stuff, which hopefully y'all will enjoy, you know? But yeah, Jan plans for January, they just don't stop, do they? I'm going to end up with too many plans. Okay, let's start again. That. Okay, I'm making all the mistakes. That one over here. That one to there and to there. There we go. Okay. Uh, now we've got our two materials coming in together. We've got to get them into the impact reactor. With... Wait, am I doing... Is it really... Why the titanium? Where did I get titanium in my head? Oh, cryofluid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay, so the layout might be a little bit different here, actually. I'm not really sure what the best layout is. So let's say... Hmm, we're going to have to look at some numbers. It wants 2.4... Wrong one. It wants 15 cryofluid per second for every one blast compound. If we have a look at the cryofluid mixer, is that in this bit? 
liquid tank, cryofluid mixer. Outputs 24. Wasn't that the number? See, I've already forgotten. <laughs> Every one titanium makes 24 cryofluid in 2 seconds. We need 15 in 2.3. So we should be fine if we have a 1 to 1 of titanium and blast compound. So I don't think we're going to have shortage issues here. So the question is, where does this go and how do we get our cryofluid to it? I kind of want to remove that belt. This is awful. I don't want to get rid of the stuff we've already made. Ha! I win! Nothing. I win nothing. Okay, there we go. Right, I think what I might do is use a junction to pull it off. Or, sorry, a route up. Put it straight into the reactor thing. And then somewhere around here, also ship off the titanium. So let's say we do it like uh, we're going to want a router here and a router there. That means they both need junctions here and there. Okay, that router is going to go straight into the reactor. This one's going to come down here. So I won't actually build the reactor yet, but I'll leave space for it. So our impact reactor will be there. And then our cryofluid mixer will be directly next to it. Uh, cryofluid mixer and then that just needs power from somewhere else like a, a pump coming in uh, I'm actually gonna get rid of that and replace it with that funny enough okay um, so this is gonna come in across here and do that and you know where that's coming from, right? Okay, so that's going to make cryofluid and we're going to wait. Let's see us do some defending. Everything's already dead. Beautiful. Everything. Did I see? I could have swore I saw. Nah, I must have imagined something. I thought I saw the blast compound go that way. Uh, BG Monster Fan, see you in a bit, buddy. Oh, we've got no power over here. Now we've got power to two of them, and then to the third. So the water should be getting mixed into cryofluid. Sweet. I do wonder if we should have put a tank somewhere in this mix as well, right? But the idea I was thinking is that it's now scalable side to side, like we can loop this layout over and over again. Alright, alright, here we go peeps. We're building it, we're going to bring it online. And then we'll probably have to run around and upgrade everything that gives us this juice, right? Immediately after. Another JT, another JT is here for 30 months in a row. Thank you so much, another JT. I can't believe you're still on this map. How long have you been on this map, says the Seventh Deadly Sin. Uh, we're like into our fourth hour now, I think. Okay, that thing is online. But does it have enough cryofluid? It should... Hmm, I don't like that we're out of cryofluid. I feel like maybe I should double the amount of cryofluid going on here. I mean, it's got what it needs. It's got power. Yeah, okay, let's change the plan a little bit then. Kind of looks like we're going to uh, double up on the old cryofluid. Okay, so now we should be juicing it up. There we go, now it wants to get rolling. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. What? There you go. Maybe we can stack it like that so the, they always share one on either side. Now the power output is zero, so it's going to suck down a lot of power before it gives anything. Okay, power output is going up. And will we go power positive? We're power positive, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look at that juice. Look at that beautiful, beautiful juice. I like it. I like it a lot. Cool. And it looks like we're getting everything we need here, really. Absolutely everything we need. 
What I could do here is to, in attempts to always keep this full, is create like a filter there. But by the way, lots of dinging and dongings in my ears right there. What is going on? We got noises galore. Noises galore. This thing can't be... Actually, I could change those over to juice them up, couldn't I? Uh, power those, power positive. So that means we could, if we wanted to, bring the plastinaeum stuff back online. But we're going to start juicing up this system. As well as keeping an eye on this. And we're almost at full power. That's a beautiful thing. Uh, so Father of Apocalypse is here for 14 months saying, uh, I love the Demise Mansion. Can't wait to see all the spooky rooms filled with danger and treasure. It's going to be awesome, dude. It's going to be awesome, I tell you. Father of Apocalypse, thank you for your 14 months. We've got Aprover dropping the sub bomb on chat with five gifted subs. Aprover, can't thank you enough for supporting the community. I really appreciate it. Thank you for doing so. If you hear your name being read out loud, feel free to throw a love heart. Aprover's way. Uh, Captain, Blondebeard, Nexus Darkshade. Double O Svenny Double O Melishka MC and Proxy J. You are now all subscribers. Thanks to Ape Rover. Ape Rover, thank you again ever so much. Truly do appreciate it. We've got H Sticky If in chat saying, X, thanks so much for the content. After I saw your first player in my industry, I knew it'd be a game I would love. Now my preteen boys and I play it on a family server for some great father son game time. That's awesome, dude. That's really awesome. I'm glad you enjoy the game. It is immense, if you ask me. Let's let's see how it performs with a second reactor. So we're gonna have that, and then we're gonna have this, and that all looks good, I think. Oh, and we're missing something. That right there. Oh, it skipped over to building that. What is it? cost to build it is a good question because it might be in production for a long time uh, what wrong tap ah it's the surge alloy okay so we're not gonna we're gonna come back to that later then right um, over here we need to juice that up basically it hasn't got a liquid boost I don't know how I missed that that would be quite easy to add wouldn't it also, that one's not producing any... Oh, it's all backed up. Yeah, I see. Okay, liquid boost going on over here. Drill speed going up. Beautiful stuff. And that means we should have some more of these things being produced. And already, you know, we've got quite a lot. It might even back up. We might end up just building a system that provides what we need just by giving it a bit more juice, you know, if all of this stuff backs up. So, it appears to still be sand. What is going on there? So this might be where something like that is actually broken. No, it just doesn't have power. Oh yeah, we took them offline. Totally forgot. And then that one got some juice from that side. Okay, so we probably do need more sand. But this is not actually backing up, I think. So we should get on top of this quick. So 150 there. I'm going to remove... Actually, no, let's not, let's not do that. Hang on. If I clear the plan, what happens to the other thing we're building? I do wonder. Put, put it right there. Oh, I've done this totally wrong. There's a little bit of scrap right there. Okay. Who did I notice that quickly? Y'all are about to go, he's a derp. He's a derp. And no. No, I spotted it. I spotted it quick. I was a ninja. Not a d oh wait a minute. There we go, that is all good. It's all good in the hood, homie. I should have put those on the other side, I don't know why I didn't. Whoo! Full belt of sand, just like that. Loving it. Okay, now we've got a back up here, that's beautiful. So we're probably producing this as fast as we can, maybe. Uh, water looks good, all of these things are not running at full efficiency. Is it the water distribution? I'm not sure why some of these aren't running or why their efficiency is zero the only one that's producing is the one at the back the bridge did not work the way I thought it would huh it can be very easily fixed no no it can't if I do this carefully it can well, that's that's kind of a little bit of luck right there so those ones weren't actually producing Funny how you don't notice these things. Well, funny how I don't notice them, right? The bridges are not doing what I thought they were going to do. 
And I think I know why. It's because the output is the one that puts to the side. So it doesn't put back. I don't know why I thought it would do that. So if I re finagle these and we go like this, I think what we can do is have this point downwards and then back in like that. No. I, I'm sure we had an issue with the bridge's output into the side, didn't we, peeps? The bridge does not output on the sides. The connector comes in. I'm sure it did. Like, what is going on here? We had such a problem with this in the past. And now it's not doing what I thought it would. Huh. That's really weird. We've had so many issues with that. Well, hmm. How do we then... I think we're going to have to rebuild all of this. But the cool thing is I think I know how. So if it comes up here, like that, we're going to need a router to send it in and then a junction to get it out. Where's the old junction at? Okay, then that belt should go to the next bit and that one should go there. So I copy that and just re just repeat it. That should in theory be it, except we don't really need that. Oh, wait a minute, junction there? I think that works. Nope, no, it doesn't. Now why doesn't it do that? Is it the build order? Is it just a one-off? Oh, maybe it can output into a router. It probably outputs into a router as well. So actually, let's... Ugh, I kind of don't want to do that. Let's do that. Put it there. Get rid of all of that. Okay, so I know we've got a mess, but we'll fix it. I think if we do that, we're okay. Kind of looks good, except for that one. And we have some on the belt here. It's because of that little bit, isn't it? It can output there. So we've just got to rebuild that. Okay, I think we've got this now. Go into here, grab bridge conduit from there. It kind of remembers the looks of it. Except it's going the wrong way, you know, as you do. Nice. Nice. I think we did it, peeps. Also, Kilgore1311 one, 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 has resubscribed for 21 months. Incredible stuff, Kilgore. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it and hope you're enjoying the stream. We have, my friends, got this thing up and running. Now, in order to get another one up and running, we need more surge alloy. Where is our surge alloy going? It is being shipped off to the tech tree. Right? And look, we can now buy more things because of all of it getting shipped off. So we can buy the Amiga launch pad or the Grave ship pad. Let's just buy that one for now. So now that we need more of that stuff, we have to reroute what we're doing elsewhere. Um, so if I just get rid of that, it means these are offline. No, that doesn't help our cause. I think I'm just going to do it manually. Like that for now. Okay, so Surge Alloy is now going back to the hub. Beautiful. And that will allow us to build another one of these in the future. So again, we are massively power positive, And what we should do is invest in, like, as many batteries as we can get. I think. What mods do you use, says why not? None. I haven't even got near mods yet. Put 
put in uh, a massive grid of these, basically. Like, pretty much everywhere we can. But for that, for now, we'll do that. So now you can see we're going to be able to store way more in reserve. If you look at the side there, 1.9 million, 2 million. Beautiful stuff. We can also get rid of that. And I think what we'll do is we'll fill in all the little batteries as well. See, these ones it lets you drag, but not the other ones. And then it's just got all the points. Wait a minute, there can be room for another battery there, another big one. Right there. Let's do it, let's get that battery power up. Why do you store energy, says why not? In case we ever have a big dip in power usage, like a fluctuation, then we have tons stored in reserve. So all this excess that we're um, currently creating is going to be reserved over time. That means if ever we go into a situation where we're no longer power positive, we can stay online for a lot longer. If we didn't have a big battery, or a battery at all, if we went power negative, everything would fall apart. And that's really bad, because once things fall apart, they tend to stay broken. Um, so the question is, do we want Plastinaeum for anything? We might want it for our defense. We're going to start designing our big defense real soon. Um, so Plastinaeum isn't the best surge alloy is for that one. I can't remember what rep weapon we decided we were going to go with. Cyclone is both air and ground. It's probably the Cyclone, the one we've already been using. I think the Fuse is air and ground as well, right? It is also both. Now Graphite will do 105 damage and a 2 ammo multiplication. That's pretty impressive. So 105, what was the base? Oh, it's got a low range. And it's shots a second are 171. Shots a second are 10. And its damage is 7? It doesn't sound right, does it? It kind of sounds like that's the better one. But if we look at the range, the range is smaller. So what do you think? What do the experts think? What is the best one? Uh, Athene says, hi X, love your streams. Thanks, glad you enjoy them. Assume a message Razer, you can get free products like computers and keyboards to help with your YouTube, says Boy X. Uh, I'm not a fan of Razer, really. They're a bit of a, uh, like a, you know, targeting gamers and making stuff that looks cool, but... Not really my kind of thing. Um, okay. So the battery is slowly charging. It's massive, though. Depends on the map. Fuses are for close-range bosses, says Destroyer. I, it feels like, then, maybe the best to stick with Cyclone. Also, we did skim over the Ripple, but I'm pretty sure that's ground only. Yeah. So maybe the fuse we could put at the front line? As it f fires pretty rapidly. Um, but what we'll probably do is rebuild our defense from the back over here. Um, yeah, I think that's how we're going to do it. We're going to look at this little shelf of space to begin with. So what we would be doing is putting cyclones in. Uh, like one, two, three. So we might have to skip a little something here. And I literally might start there and bring it all the way across. Don't really know where it will start or end, to be fair. Maybe we could use that as a starting point. So, Cyclone... Oh, it kind of looks like I might have missed... Oh, that one's one block higher, right. Or maybe I do need a width of two, because I've got to put liquids and belts through this area. Hmm. I also hear Frank Lepaki, CNC OST, says as I'll fan. You do indeed. Uh, Yo, Asuma, you guessed right the other week. I'm joining Moyang to work on Minecraft. Awesome, dude. Congratulations. That is superb. I'm really glad they're hiring more peeps to work on it. Father Apocalypse says, X, have you decided what your plans for January in terms of streaming? 
I'm going to stream every day. I just don't know what I'm going to do yet. I haven't quite figured it out. I'm very tempted to do the Nostalgia CNC thing, but I think I might just pick some other games this time around. So what we need to do is lay out these so they appear periodically, but we also leave space for mend projectors and force projectors, which I believe also get a boost from liquids, right? Oh, this one wants phase fabric. I think that'll be a little bit too much to build into our system. Or is it overdrive? Oh no, overdrive projectors is the other thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Force projector. So cryo fluid and water will give it a boost. So we can share the same system. So if we look at that and go one, two, three, one, two, three, and put it there. Then our mend projector is slightly smaller. So I don't know what we'll do with the additional space. But it could go maybe even have a bridge over and put it there. We're also going to need a power node every so often. So maybe it goes here. Now how far apart do power nodes need to be? And is there a bigger one than the large power node? There was... something. No, maybe not. So if we look at the range, we, we've kind of got it just about right. The next one is going to need to be hmm, somewhere around there. I'm trying to design something that loops and repeats, by the way. I'm not sure if I actually wanted to do that yet, if I wanted to start building it. Also, why is there no connection there? Large power node is the biggest, says it's over. Sure is. Sure is. We could mix up. We could, you know, when we got these, like, two by twos, we could throw in some different weapons with it. Uh, I really need to get these other things out of the way as well. So I'm just going to build some connections like this. And then we're going to disconnect everything else. Can I actually get you to work on something else? Do that one. Nope, you're not going to do it. When did you start playing, says why not? Um, not long ago. 47 minutes, to be precise. Oh, do they not reach? They should reach. Okay, right, we've got a network set up there, so I can disconnect this. And that. Okay, that's fine with that being offline. Uh, let's also get rid of these little blocks. We're going to have, uh, obviously, ammunition coming through here. Um, in this little area, it's going to be a bit of a wiggle. But that will go through the middle like that. And then we would have our pipe on the other side, which is going to be made out of pulse conduit. Uh, should I possibly make these armoured as well? Like, it costs different materials. Should we use armoured conveyors is a question. Right, it doesn't accept inputs from the side. That might actually backfire a little bit because... Oh, let's see. So we would have to have a router. Mm, this is going to be tricky actually because I want to stack these side by side. It kind of looks like... Because uh, we've got so many things and obstacles in the way. Maybe making like a repeating layout isn't the way to go. But anyway, uh, let's give it a shot at least. So... We're going to put a router, uh, sorry, a junction there. So that distributes to both. Now we also want to do pulse conduit that has a junction. So the junction has to be here. It's not tileable because the bridge would then go to where the junction is. So... Maybe we need a different approach for how we get the liquids and the things here together. Any suggestions in chat for how we should do it? Make drones to help. I don't know which drones to help. Just spam routers, no conveyors works best every time for me. Yeah, I could do, but... 
then it doesn't solve the problem of the bridge, right? I don't see how it would solve that problem. Okay, let's say we roll that back and remove that. This is this is what I don't like about the way I'm building at the moment. Because we're wasting materials a little bit and time. But once we get something in place, it'll be good. So if we use liquids on this side, it won't be as compact, but then, you know, how can it be? So then we'll put a bridge through the middle. And then obviously the liquid is going to come in from below in the form of a junction. So then it can be tileable. And then if we put nodes, I know the bigger nodes are more attractive, but we can put those ones through and they can link up time and time again. So now when we build that, we can copy it over and over again. <laughs> Would you rather die to the hands of Bob Ross or Keanu Reeves, says Rachel. I do not recall ever having a stranger question in chat than that. <laughs> uh, I'd, ra I'd just rather not die, you know? Stay alive forever, that's my plan. Yeah, so we put that there and then it means we're going to shuffle all of this over. I shouldn't have built the force projector so quick, right? And the question is, how often do we want a force projector also? So yeah, let's get rid of that, the power node and the mend for now. Okay, we've got another wave of something coming through. So if we just copy that and give it one, two, three, like, then we get a feel for how far apart these go each time. Something like that. Okay, we're still doing good on the defense. Now, when we go to our... Where is it? What is it? You know? Where is it and what is it? The mend projector force field thingy of awesome amazingness. Force projector. So if I put that there, there isn't much overlap in front of it. Well, we'll probably end up putting more cyclones and stuff. So if we have that, one, two, and then the next one's going to... Okay, so I need to build more of this to visualize it better and then you can start to see a big problem down the bottom but we'll figure that out as we get there and up top maybe yeah we'll figure this hey are we short on a material like it's building it erratically leads we've got one lead no we've got 12k of all of those is it metaglass we've got 12k of everything so i don't know why it'd be erratic Okay, so the overlap is free on either side. So one would go there, and then the next one would go... Oh, jeez. This one? Yeah, there. But then it would only... It would only... Okay, yeah, I'm going to bring it back. We're going to put it so that it's got three between it each time. Or two. Because then we've got some serious overlay if we do two. It'll push... Yeah, we'll do every two. I get some serious overlay going. So that means I can copy from here to there. Ah, or maybe not. Right, and we should also um, be careful of how much power this drains as well, right? Still power positive, but it does it does drain. Don't know why it's building thunky. It shouldn't be building thunky. Okay. So now what we need to do is copy that. Get it in place a bunch of times. All the way over here. And that is one really well protected system. Okay, so here obviously we're going to have some issues. So due to the terrain, we don't have a lot of flexibility. Okay, we'll come back to that problem in a bit. 
Maybe we'll look at where to put men's projectors and stuff next. Maybe not. Hmm, I've got some ideas for this. X, after wave 50 enemy flyers will overflow top left towards Thorium production. Doxers, can we lure them down towards us? Because I ain't ready for some crazy wave 50 stuff going over there. I'm building it to defend down below, as you can see. Maybe we can use this over there as well. Okay, so I think we're going to have to use Metaglass as ammunition to begin with, just so this is actually online and doing something. And then later on we'll change it over to something else. So, let's bring in the belt. It will go up there. And then obviously we're going to have to set up like a liquid booster network, or however you want to word it. Um, okay, let's bring that down and around. And then clearly that makes all of this here kind of redundant. So we'll leave that there for something else. Get rid of it. Now what we can do is put all of those there I just noticed that the router's never got copied. These routers would be every other one like that. This song is also awesome. Oh, you are probably sick of me going on about these songs. We get it! You like music, X. Shut up! <laughs> just bridge the liquid over. Oh! Would it have reached? Would it have worked on the corner there? It might not have. You can go... No, I don't think you could have. Although, can you stack them double? Like... Do you know what? I'm not going to bother because both of those get it. In fact, if you look at it, they actually all get it. Like, in theory, we could do this every time because... Oh no, does that mean my layout is slightly inefficient? <laughs> it's slightly space inefficient because... I only need it every other time, right? Like, every other one of these is wasted. Flyers will for sure go west from spawn in location after 50. I would use Thorium there if you have ammo in salvos. Thorium and salvos, right. How many do we need? You're going to have to tell me. Because if they're coming this way, I need some defense. Um, so we can put Thorium in for 29 damage times 4. They will shoot every 1.58 seconds we can boost them with water could I alternatively use the fuse for similar shot time but I can't use I'd have to use graphite so probably better to just go with this right the bridge itself outputs all three sides and they can chain together destroyer we just learned that bridges don't do that earlier in this stream I could have swore they did but apparently they don't as it would seem so could I literally go for something like this up here to save my neck? Like, would that be acceptable? With a little bit of power, we could perhaps introduce a force projector. At the back, it would not be as nicely positioned. Um, and then I need some mending in there as well, don't I? So the mender, or the, that one is the same kind of... Okay, I'm going to take out those two. They're going to be mend projectors. Take out the four in the middle. Put in the force projector. And I guess power nodes would go somewhere in there, right? Could I bridge over it as well? They output three sides as long as they are in the last bridge in a chain to destroy. That's not what we learned a moment ago. We, um, I thought that's how they worked and they didn't do that, so... I ain't gonna bother with that. Yeah, it just kinda looks like a bit of wasted space here really, doesn't it? But all we really need is that, so it can... Go somewhere else. Speaking of which, 
Like, where are we going to get power from? Here? Oh, wave 50 is approaching. We need to be ready. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is use this thing here. Oh, except that's then in the way. Sounds like we're kicking butt over there. Okay, so what's the verdict? Is this going to be enough to defend with? How does that look? Viking says, kind of sounded like you said mending. That's what I say. I say mending, I say. X, I do not think you need all that. I went to wave 75 on this map, says Miles Robert. Well, overkill is good, right? And now that's all projected and protected. Sweet. Let's go ahead and copy this. As far as up there. Looks solid, says Af Afli Truth fan. That's good. It does look solid, doesn't it? Right, now what if we wanted even more than that? Bridges only output when they do not forward anything else. 8 erg, I'll have to learn about bridges another time though. One of these isn't getting ammo, apparently. They should, in theory, all get ammo. Oh yeah, that one there. You are useless. You're useless! What good are you? Could have another one of those there. And, uh, and then a power node here. See, that ain't so bad, is it? Alright. Also, how's power usage in general now? It's still going up. Can we make it go up faster? Because we're going to need more power with more time. Let's check out uh, the cost of that thing. There you go. It's using up my surge alloy supply. But it looks like we've got enough to complete it, which is awesome. That is dandy, my friends. Diddly dandy is what it is. Booyah! Second one's online. I've just noticed, though, that cryofluid mixer is low here and there as well. What does that mean? Do we have enough cryo... Ooh, we're sapping down on the cryofluid. I think it might be time for a little bit of an emergency measure here. This could possibly go wrong if we're not careful. We need more cryofluids. And we're a bit cramped here is the problem. Uh, what about... Does that fit from there to there? It does. Woo! That'll save the day. That'll save the day. Okay, so now if we put a cryofluid mixer on the opposite side. Let's also repeat that here. Uh, no, actually, because there's no reactor there. So it's just those two. Okay, so then we want to have our cryofluid mixer. Uh, ear and ear. And then some pipes for water. Should probably upgrade these as well so they can store more overall. Uh, maybe that one needs to be a junction as well, actually. Okay, then speaking of junctions, we're going to need a junction ear and ear and a router there and there. Please tell me that that outputs. It does. The cryofluid is going over. We've now got extra cryofluid in those two places. Notice how the water just uh, vanished. Let's get an extra handful of these. Don't know why those are there. Okay, and water should now be making its way to the rest of these as well. It looks like we're good again. Cryofluid is up on both. Beautiful stuff. Engineering solutions. We got them. Question is, do I want to rebuild the entirety of this thing? Because I realised it was slightly inefficient. What do you think, peeps? I hate the idea of rebuilding this. 
I hate it. <laughs> but it's uh, it's not what we're trying to do, right? No, says Miles Robert. Yeah, let's just keep it. I talk about this uh, OCD thing, right, in Minecraft. Don't get all obsessed about OCD. That's what I'm doing right now, getting obsessed about it. It's not worth it, you know? So this is going to be our layout. And we obviously got to get some liquids to them. <laughs> my OCD will never let me leave for lunch until you fix that cryofluid mixer that has no water. Oh my god. Oh right, that's why it's not up. We might not have ever needed these. Also, these have the ability to back channel cryofluid, which we don't want. So we better put some uh, routers in. There we go. Except that one got the cryofluid. Huh. And it got it again. Ah, oh, now all of this has got cryofluid. Interesting. Ugh. Cryofluid. Okay. <laughs> Start again. Um... It ain't as pretty, but it'll get the job done. Okay, now they all got cryofluid. Great, beautiful, wonderful. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Peeps are saying armoured pipes. Why should I use the armoured ones? If they got a special property? Does not accept fluids from the side. Ah, okay, yeah, that, so that would be useful, wouldn't it? I guess that makes those other belts useful in those situations. Right, uh, we would want to get power to these things, wouldn't we? Uh, water, I mean. We want to get water to them. So, I think down here... Now, what is the capacity of these things is another question. Like, 10 liquid units, 16. Not a crazy amount more, really. So I think what we'll look at doing is putting in some pumps, obviously. Uh, just in this area. That's a good question then. So, 60 per... No, wait. 30 liquid units. So doesn't one of these already meet the maximum... Clearly it doesn't, because we've gotten away with hooking up more water down the bottom there. So, clearly those numbers don't match up in the way you might think. Okay, there we go. Anyway, more power here. Do we have max 3 million stored in the bank? Excellent. Okay. This is terrific. We've got a really crazy backup of the fence here that will slowly advance forward and upgrade and stuff, right? That is at least the plan. Oh, and all, all that's up there is already wrecking house. Uh, what we don't have with this one is men projectors. I've kind of made a mistake there, haven't I? It's like the one thing I haven't accounted for. So, let's go look at those. So one opposite that would probably do the overlapping trick each and every time. Just means there's going to be like this additional space there that I don't know what to do with. So I kind of got ahead of myself there, didn't I? Is there anything else we could put in this space around here to make things... Like there, I could actually put two of them, couldn't I? Get builder drones to speed up your building. Um, I think we built one already and it doesn't do anything. Would be a good idea, no doubt. Builder drones. Phantom builder drone factory. Silicon lead and titanium. Did we do that? 
It's got silicon lead, but not titanium. It's definitely a different one, isn't it? If I put that there and change the thing to a router... Actually, everything it wants is all around it. So if I go put a router here for lead and a router there for titanium and a router there for silicon I just need junctions across the belts and then we'd have it I think, I hope I hope that hasn't screwed everything up royally right it's got lead it's good, yeah it's getting all of it Interesting. If I then if I then moved lead down here through this space, I could shimmy them off to the side to build an array. So we'll see how that helps and then maybe we'll get an array of them put in place. Make more of them, says Ladin Dark. Alright, Ladin, if you say so. If you say so. We need a junction here. I like how all of this is backed up. This is really good. I don't know if when things back up they use less power though. Oh, that actually needs to be a junction. Uh, then we can have a lead belt going down here. And then that would be the end of the lead belt, I think. Unless we used a bridge. But we'll leave it there for now. So, I've got to get out three materials into one of those drones. That being... Try and optimise space a little here. These three. And then we run our junctions all the way around. BAM! Crazy noise in the ear! Whew! When we do it like that, it might erroneously put like one little thing onto a different belt, but I haven't seen it do that yet. Talbar says, I'm addicted to the Builder Drone. When I got my first, I just needed more. Uh, Yellow Harold is here, he's subscribing for 44 months! Saying this number just keeps getting high. It's the only thing it can do, Harold. It's the only thing it can do, unless Twitch decide to like, take it back and say no. <laughs> It's going. The number's going down now. Jeez, thank you so much for the support, dude. Truly do appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying the stream. We're certainly getting more advanced. I think one thing I'd really like to do is to play a really planned, big, kind of uh, open level with no blocks in the way. I, I reckon we could do some serious cool stuff with that. Right, we're also going to put that there. Um, and then... I could actually make this super compact if I look at it a little different. If we put a router there, it'll go off to both sides. And then that means I can do that over and over again. No, what I should do is that. Yeah, wait for that to build and then I can scale it. Does this look normal by the way? Like, It feels really crazy to just have so many of these junctions and routers together. I mean, is that the way we should do it, you know? It looks to me like it's going to work. Are they getting the materials? I think they're getting them. They're getting them. <laughs> Absolutely bonkers. Right, so now that I've got these things, they're going to come over here and build for me? Is that what they're going to do? Because we got our water going all the way through, so I think all of these now have a boost. And look, we've got something that needs building. Where are the drones? I made 15 minor drones. They fall in the core in a few waves, says Ladin Dark. Do we actually have any one of these that's finished building yet? Build progress, no. Okay, so it hasn't even finished building. Right, I, you know, one thing I'd like to do is do a little bit of backwards efficiency now, because when we get down here, our belts are pretty skimp. So titanium looks like it needs a boost. And uh, we set this thing up like pretty, pretty much knowing it would need to do something better. So maybe not that one. Let's have a look. Okay, we've got enough room to juice those two up with that. Then I could also, you know, squeeze every little bit out with those. Is there another one there? There isn't. I think I'll just leave the other one alone. So now, just run these around the outside. And we've given it some serious juice. In 
in fact, I am going to take that one extra little bit and then put that there. It might not be efficient, but we're doing it. Cool. Uh, we need power. And we should see way more titanium on that belt. Almost maxing it out, which is really, really good. So an overdrive projector there would convert... Oh wait, does the overdrive projector work independently? Taobar says I finished my tea. You know, I had quite a few cups of tea today and I really enjoyed them. I'm going to have one after the stream. Overdrive projector requires... Oh, it's a booster. It's optional. So I can just give it a speed boost, right? If I put it there. And remember, we're generating more power now. So when I want to look at something like this and go, this should be full... Um, Except it's not connected. This just might. Apparently, I've made a derp. Someone's putting a derp face in there. You know, not sure why. So now it's kind of maxed out, right? And that might be a little bit on the inefficient side. I am wondering if we should pipe some of this back up to the top. So what I'm going to do is look for a particular gate. Um, where's that gate? Where is it? Inverted sort of no overflow gate. I'm going to have to put it there. And then bring this out and up. All the way up here. All the way up here. Bridge it over there. I mean, actually, that's probably far enough for my needs for now. I can change it later if need be. So, yeah, then I can have it join over here as well just needs a junction and a junction. Right, and so every now and then it's a little bit too much and it goes that way instead. Which is a good thing. I'm not sure if we can juice it any further, but that seems to be good, doesn't it? So it'll come back down to these ones here, essentially. It's a bit pointless, but, you know. I guess what's probably going to happen is this is going to back up at some point. Oh no, it won't back up. Oh, and another good reason to do that is because we've got cryofluid going on down here. So, priorities, you know. I love these factories. You can really, like, get overly into them and, like, figure out all their little quirks and stuff, right? It's fascinating. One of the things I would like to do one time is really just go ham on the engineering side, but... It is, it is a game, you know. Okay, we're going to uh, knock out a load of this quickly. Just uh, copy that here and there. Also, let's get two more in here and there. Fill in all of this. Let's see if those builder drones will come help. Oh, that could easily be a big one. Uh, and I think we just need a node that actually touches the battery. And these won't be online for a second because it's lower down on my priority. And the builder drones are coming to help and that is amazing. Oh, that is really cool. We're building quickly and we'll get this thing fixed quickly now as well because of that. Beautiful. Okay, I like these drones. These drones are awesome. They were a great suggestion. Thank you, everyone. Uh, Sonin on Twitch is here for 11 months. Saying, hey, OX, it's that time of the month again. A kindly remember, remember, reminder of the people whose life you enhance with your smooth British voice. Thank you, dude. I appreciate the nice message, man. Um, thank you ever so much for 11 months of support. Maybe I'll see you in a month for a year. A goldie face in chat. Appreciate it. Badger says, I think Asuma might like this game. I do like this game. This game's awesome. I think I want to play on like an open flat level next and just have like freedom of space. Okay, help me build, suckers. There we go. Um, so, we could probably start to level out some of this stuff now, and then progress uh, up to, like, the next wave of defense, right? That being said, the way I put the power nodes in mean that the, uh, the conduits don't move forward from that point. Nor do the belts. I have to bring them in from the side again. So let's say we're going to do it a little bit better this time. We copy that in. It's going to go there. Or maybe we could put in a row of something different. Hmm. I 
think I should have designed this a little different in a way. Because stacking it forward means we just... Uh, Ladin Dark says X make walls. Not yet. We've got walls up here. We'll make, we'll make really good walls in the future. Also, what happened to that wave 50 attack? Did it just go by without us noticing? Kind of feels like it did. Can I do a magic trick is a question. Let's go look at our uh, liquids here. So the bridge conduit, can it bridge from there to there? Oh, oh, suits you, sir. Oh, well, let's do that then. Beautiful. So I think what I'm going to have to do is repeat it over and over again and connect them all manually by the looks of it. Oh, it's done that, has it? I guess it tries to connect the last one that you did. Oh, well, that means I could bridge them over the side. Is it? There are definitely some better ways I could have uh, done all of this, right? But hey, you live and you learn, I think. You live and you derp. So that allows us to get liquid also to the next ones that are going to go here. So now they're stacked back to back, which looks really good. That node is in the way. I think I can safely disconnect it. Okay, maybe I can't disconnect it. Why would it do that? Because there should be connections, right? There you go. They're taking their time on that one. Let me guess. Let me guess. We're out of something that this costs. Plastineum. It's time to bring Plastineum back online, peeps. We stockpiled a load and then we totally forgot about it. So down here, what we've got to do... We've got a wave coming in, by the way. Is, uh... Let's try that again. Nope, doesn't want to do that. Bring it over to here, basically. And Plastineum production comes back online. Beautiful. Beautiful. And now they're building. It's a wonderful sight. Okay, so that one can simply rely on the next one over. And it can come convey over there. Cool, so then we'd have a belt bringing ammunition through, right? So, if I just copy that, apparently that's the biggest it can get. Boom! And then it's just going to end there. For now, we will bring in this stuff from here. Cool, can you see what we're doing? We're slowly advancing production, it's beautiful. Um, peeps, let's turn it over to chat. What do you think we should be focusing on? Because we have actually achieved our objective of bringing on this additional power. Uh, I know that we were, you know, trying to buy stuff in the tech tree. So, like, we can buy that now. We've completed the tech tree on that side. We now have two more things over here. It's the surge alloy. But while we're producing surge alloy, what is it you think we should be doing? What are we missing out on here? Is there something that's slowing down production over here? If we hover over it, actually, copper was behind then. I don't even see where copper is. Oh, right, it's coming from there. I know what we can do to boost that. Maybe we could just do a little bit of this, running around and looking for inefficiencies. Right? It feels like a bit... feels a bit like um, aimless sometimes when you do it, but sometimes you just don't know what it is you're going to find, right? So if we put that there, we can have... Probably want to go that way. Let's put it in that spot. Now, we're competing with Plastineum to build this, and we've got drones that are now building up the top here, which is actually like they're sucking up every little bit of Plastineum. So it might be a while before we can build that, funny enough. I think what I'm going to do is cancel plans for all the ones that ain't built yet. Okay, and then we'll compete for Plastineum down here. Oh, do these things help, like, weapons fire faster as well? The overdrive projectors? There's a question for you. Attack drones, says FL Truth Fan. I could look into that. We know how to stack things off of our belt when we want to build. Okay, are we getting copper any faster? Can we shimmy copper from somewhere else to it? 
if I look here, we actually send copper back to the core, which I don't think I want to do. Let's make sure more of it can go into these things. Um, can we juice up some copper? I could use that belt in the opposite direction, couldn't I? What do you think, peeps? Liquid bridge placed next to another will feed out the sides if you make sure the two close bridge blocks don't extend their bridge. Doxers, we're going to have to drop the whole bridge to the sides thing because I just didn't get it to work before. So I'm just going to leave it as that. Do the builder drones get rid of blocks? Let's find out. Yeah, they're helping me do that, aren't they? We kind of really don't need these solar panels or this battery here. This is like wasted space, essentially. We could start to look at this space as somewhere to put a project. Badger, have a great time doing whatever you're doing. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for the cheers and bits, as always. Appreciate your support. X, unloader, only put onto belt. X, unloader, only put onto belt. What does that mean? Um, anyway, copper is clearly slowing down surge alloy, alloy of all things. So if we if we actually change the direction of this belt a bit here, it will probably do the trick. Um, wait, that comes through from the other side. I don't know what's going on here. It's only letting me change small bits. It only let me click one at a time, I think is what it's saying. Then all of that can go in. Okay, and disconnect that. Now the question is, does enough come from this direction as well? Um, what we can do is juice these up a little bit. I like juicing them up. Nice. Yeah, not a lot going to the core. This is all like old belts, basically, isn't it? Somewhere here? There we go. Okay, now that should really be making a difference. That's already backed up. In which case, backups are kind of good, so... We'll let it go out both sides, and then it should start to back up here as well. Cool. Um, any suggestions in chat for things we should do? Make some minor drones. I don't think we need minor drones, because we're mining everything we need, right? I don't think that should be the objective. Could potentially expand this if we want more power, but oh, we're actually we were just for a moment there. Oh, look, we might not be power positive. We've actually not filled up our power bank, so let's let's actually look at expanding this then. If we take that offline, we simply need to repeat the entire thing over and over again. Um, question is, where does it start repeating from? I think it starts there. Right, but I see a floor at the end here that makes the repeating design a little bit silly. Let's also upgrade all of these pipes. Okay. I think one's missing. Okay, uh, now when we copy here to there, and we bring it over to here, it should just be like that. Yeah, missing some pipage up here. Mmm, and we don't want this to be offline for too long. Our cryo fluid will probably start to drain. And then somewhere over the back here, I've got to make uh, a little connection again, don't I? And then I might need to add some additional pumps. Let's also uh, 
correct that. That's actually the same problem we have down the bottom. We might accidentally put cryofluid in. But hopefully not, if it all builds quick enough. It looks good. Nope, we've got cryofluid in the end here. That is not good. Oh, we've got cryofluid all over the place. It's just the same problem we have down below, basically. Man, these things are kind of like in the way visually at the moment. Okay, so we go up there, across. Uh, gonna want one down there. So just a little liquid junction here to there. Sorry, junction, bridge. And then our routers. And it should all be cryo-fluid cryo only. All looks good, doesn't it? Uh, low on water seems to be the next problem. Let's actually put some over here next. So they can get some juice and get some water in all over the place. And uh, water is steadily rising inside of our pipes. Cryofluid is max on all of these. And look at that. Power positive again. Brilliant. Brilliant stuff. Okay. Um, as you can see, as we expand to the side, we may have a little bit of trouble. If this were like pushed down by one block, it would be perfect. But those blocks are just going to get in the way of our array. Oh man, this is crazy right here. Absolutely crazy. Right, how are we doing on Plastoneum? We've probably got more now, don't we? And we were going to go around and look for some inefficiencies here and there, but let's get another set of these things online. Okay, so dropping back down to Surge Alloys. What's throttling us now? Is anything throttling us? A lack of lead, potentially. Kind of looks like lead. So, this thing, now that we backed up copper, lead is suffering a little bit. Now the only thing I can see us doing is stacking this, like, does that then allow it to go faster? So we've got 419, oh it's Plastoneum again, I just set them up on this stuff. Okay, finish that one and then we're good. Right, 419 is our drill speed here. We could actually direct more in here by the looks of it as well. But we, we are conducting an experiment, so... That will shimmy plenty over that way. <laughs> Look at them all dancing. 419. 628. Was that always 628? This one was 419. That's not going to help. That doesn't make it go faster twice. By the looks of it. Cool. So we still look like we're on top of all of these. Lead is behind. Lead's behind. Lead's behind. So it's just still lead that's could be even better. Um, do we have anything else over here we could do for that? It's actually backing up going into the core now. On two occasions. So down here, we could do with that getting shimmied up top, funny enough. Hmm. BG Monster says, Today was such a boring day. Thanks for streaming, X. No problem, dude. Glad you're enjoying it. Simon C92 is here for 31 months. Simon C, thank you ever so much. I appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Lizzie Best as a sumo, how many levels did you want to do to complete before doing a new map? I don't know because my main objective is to unlock all of the things in the tech tree, which we'll steadily do. Um, but then I could see how far. I think you get an achievement for doing 100 waves, so we might want to do that. Um, if we look down here, if we can boost sand production in this area, we can... It's actually a little bit strange it's not running at max because there's... Ample opportunity here to make it even better. There we go. Yeah, we're just gonna. I think we're gonna roam and look for little inefficiencies like this. Just try and get everything tapped out a bit more, you know. So that should be more meta glass overall. Um, is there any way to get more sand on this belt? The one up top's doing real good. Maybe. Oh look, actually, there is. It's called giving that power. So if I put a node here and then there, does that connect? Yep. So now we should really see a full belt of sand as we get a little bit of a boost. I'll put another one right next door. 
That should be it. Okay. So yeah, now our meta glass comes through a little quicker. That's beautiful. Over here, it looks like silicon is just simply backed up. Uh, we never enhanced this stuff much more, did we? So I think we'll build another array for that. Um, what we have to do to get this one up... Two things, really. One is that we can put more in from the top, but what we're probably actually going to want to do is put more in from down below. These things follow me are kind of annoying when they're hovering on top of what you want to do. So, we have just enough space here, and I think I deliberately did, did this, so we can get more sand and bring it down here and then pump it into the next part of this. So if we do that, zoom out a bit so we don't collide with anything, um, that is an input point for sand, but it will then shimmy down to the next router before it goes out to the side. So we actually have to put in this sand here, if I'm not mistaken. That looks correct to me. Okay, so they're going to help build that stuff, which is beautiful. We might need an extra power node somewhere around here. In case something doesn't connect. Okay. Um, we need more sand here, clearly. And if you look at the way this is set up, it makes more sense to do that than it does to have that going. Okay, so we're increasing this a little bit. If we can get more sand to that belt, then we're good. So I would look back over here. Uh, we've got some redundant cables there. And I would look at this thing. So 214 or 117. How do we do it over here? I think I know what I want to do. I want to try and get two of these. Look, you see there's some more scrap over here, but all the belts are near it. Let's do that. Scrap will go straight into our pulverizers. Pulverizers will carry this stuff. Uh, maybe just down a little bit and then across. Go on, they can help. They can do the job. And then down there. Just needs power. And it needs some juice, as they always do. And it should... Should be making scrap. And the scrap should go straight into the pole right. I see the problem. I see the problem. We got a noise in the ear from one ping only, please, for 16 months. Thank you so much for 16 months of support. I appreciate it. For that phase matter fabric pipe to force projector will increase size and strength, I believe, says Doctor. Yeah, then you're getting into some seriously crazy complex layout stuff, which I do like the idea of, but uh, I don't think I'm going to get too into in this one. We're just doing things one step at a time for now. There we go. So we should be getting a little bit more of that together. And do you know what I've just kind of noticed? This whole thing can be easily expanded. However, we're going to expand it over here. I think we're going to put one extra node for now. So if I add a router and a router and a junction here, like that. Get some power between those. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Now that's good. That's some good happenings right there. It kind of looks like we could support a little bit more over here. Now the, the last two don't really run, do they? At that point it doesn't really support the amount coming through. Well that's beautiful. That's a beautiful thing right there. We are producing more of that. <laughs> Not that we need to, but we're doing it. Okay. I think we should look at getting more plastineum in. Also, let's check our power positivity. We are power positive by a lot. Very good. Uh, that how looks video for viewers of Mombo Jombo, says Dom. No idea what you just said, mate. <laughs> 
Not a clue. Where should we copy this to? What can we do with this setup? Oh, it actually looks like it needs improving. Like, there's not enough titanium, right? So, if we come over here and get a overdrive projector in, that will help us get more titanium. But that's about all we can do, I think for now unless I pump titanium in from somewhere else like over here you know crazy idea I've got crazy idea I tell ya let's um, put in a junction there and there a router in the middle bring that down bring it across down and across again titanium can now come in at both ends beautiful why aren't the ones there working? Probably because they're not powered by anything, I'm guessing. So an additional power node would put those two online. Uh, and now, that should kind of be it, really. Like I don't see what else we could do in this situation. That's very, very good. If anything, I could actually try and get some of this like through into the next bit, but there probably ain't enough room. Yeah, probably not enough room at all. Okay, I think we just increased Plastinaeum production. I hope we did. Kind of looks like we did. I... Hmm, no, I can't see another way to get it in there. x forum reactor is not getting Forium. Yeah, it is. Wait, no, it's not. Now, why would that be so? The unloader should be unloading from the vault, right? How long's that been like that for? Like... What's wrong with this? 1k. So why is the unload... Oh! Were the ones there configured? Maybe you just can't stack an unloader into that. Because that's the change that I made eventually, wasn't it? Well, there you go. That'll be back online now. Thanks for pointing that out. Overdrive it. Can we overdrive these? Oh, I gotta try that. Like we could put one there and one over here. Oh, please. But then it might consume more cryo fluid by the looks of it. If we're gonna do that, let's make sure it's got a little bit more juice in both spots I could put I could actually put these like independently as well right that one's not doing anything but they're also on top of ice see that one's not really doing anything is it um, it seems to have worked did it increase power output I don't know if it did overdrive the overdrive someone says do you know what I should have paid more attention to if it were actually doing that or not, you know, actually boosting the output. Um, so over here, I'm not sure what we can do to make sure this stuff is continuously running. We should look at it as if it's running out because, you know, that might slowly tip downwards. And we have maximum sand and maximum coal going in. I could put overdrive projectors in and then everything just works a bit faster. <laughs> it's an interesting solution idea, isn't it? Make those things run a bit faster. Make these things run a bit faster. And then it might just eat away at some resources. I don't know. Kind of looks like it's keeping about the same pace. Okay, it now wants way more water, which is quite predictable. Maybe put one up here for the top two as well. Try and keep it all running. Yeah, not sure we really did anything with that. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is upgrade the pipes. Did it not upgrade the two at the bottom? There you go. So, kind of looks a little bit better here and there, but not always. 
This stuff isn't backing up any further, is it? It's keeping steady is what it's doing. But everything's running off of like a renewable or like an infinite resource, so... I think we're good. I think it's just going to stay steady like that. We've tried to at least boost it up a little bit. Uh, by the way, did that also do these ones? Because it kind of looked like it didn't. No, it did. Output stuck in the input. They're at the top one, says Dusty. Oh yeah, well spotted. That might help. Okay, let's go check this wave. Wave 60 now. We ain't putting any upgrades up here for ages. And they're just, they're basically hitting the walls once they take down the force projectors. So that defense is holding out. I don't know how long it will for. Blast mix in one of them, says Plasma Phoenix. We're making enough blast mix to keep this all online. I'll probably leave it like that for now, rather than use it for ammunition. Otherwise, we might take our power supply down. So it's very important that we don't accidentally tamper with this, essentially. Got to keep this all online here. Uh, we are hugely power positive, and I think it might be a good idea to just try and increase the uh, power array a little bit. Or the battery array, whatever you want to call it. Let's just get, you know, a stupid amount of them in. Actually, don't put them on the other side. Every little gap. So, uh, lots of small ones down here as well. Cool. I kind of feel like I want to build more of them somewhere as well, right? Like, where's some space where we could just stockpile battery? Like, maybe even just all the way over here somewhere, use up this space. But I might need that for something later on. I don't see us using this space over here, so we could try and add another little array in this spot. Let's do that, give it a connection, and then fill in all of these as well. Remember, we have huge power demands now, so Putting all the excess into storage is quite smart, really. I think I'm actually going to make it a little bit bigger than that. Look, I'm the only one building. What are these lot here for? Okay, let's take all of that. And that'll probably do, won't it? Okay, all of that. And then these here. Nice. Okay, so now we can store 6.3 million. Beautiful. X, is there going to be me stream tomorrow and on Saturday? Um, probably not. Probably next one will be the Hermitcraft one on Sunday. Larger batteries are stored lots more than small ones if you can replace any, says Tuxaban. Oh yeah, we've, we've done it so that they're pretty much all optimal in that regard. Um, yeah, what more is there to do? Let's check out our tech tree. That is still our objective. We have quite a lot of surge alloy to spend. So now we can have the spectre. And then we've got meltdown over here. So we've got to keep producing that surge alloy. And now we have another weapon. <laughs> Is this one better than what we've already got? It targets air and ground. It can use Thorium. 65. Typical increase of the uh, rates there. Range 25, so... What are we looking at? Shots a second 10, 65 damage. Compared to what we're using, shots a second 10, but not as much damage, but it's like this damage area stuff. Should we use it? It costs, compared to the other one, it costs Surge Alloy to build, so no, we shouldn't use it just yet. Is it also a 4x4? Four four? It's a 4x4. Four four. We'll get a couple of those in there for fun, you know? Got to get them in for fun. 
Um, let's look at rerouting some things around here as we start to expand this forward. Because this is just going to be like this ridiculous defense. Uh, maybe not actually like that. Maybe more like there. Comes across and around to there. Oh yeah, look, there's some guns over the side here that I might have overlooked. So I guess we probably want that. For now. For now, for Nagel. Hey, Asuma, did you already check YouTube Rewind? Is it out? How many dislikes has it got? <laughs> With copper going on, I imagine everyone's just screaming about that. You didn't mention copper. Creators are dying! <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're literally dying, peeps. I went to the hospital and the doctor said you got copper, mate. There we go. Ooh, we can bridge over again, I think. Uh, we can also... Let's get this stuff out of the way, because, like, it's all wrong. Right, we also just lost power here. So, in order... We need a bridge and jump. And then we need power nodes still. So, it's going to jump to there. But maybe not. Maybe we put the power node here, right? Also, I'm going to get rid of that. <laughs> uh, which is very bad, because that needs to connect to there. Cool. Kind of looks like those could connect as well. Yeah, so, bridge conduit. From here to there. Now, people keep telling me that these output to the side, so we'll find out if they do or they don't. And then we'll put these things in. Do they use surge alloy? It's not, it's plastinium that they're using. Yeah, look, they get the water from the bridges. God knows why it didn't work earlier, but hey. It's just how it goes sometimes, right. So those other conduits are kind of pointless, but um, we get to loop this over and over again. Uh, whoopsie daisy is all I can say there. Get some of that in place. Uh, actually, no, that's good. Oh, look at the way it's done that. That is making a lot of noise. That's making an absolute racket. These are all, all these bridges are going to go wrong. I know it. Yep. Not what I wanted. Oh, I could do that at the same time, couldn't I? Ah, oh, this one doesn't have one. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Why? Why? Why did that happen? Oh, now they're going to call me a derp. I didn't even do anything. I'll tell you what looks derpy. That can go to there and take care of that one. Can it also go there, or is it only allowed one connection? Oh, right, I thought it could have multiple. So if I actually want to get anything into there, the bridge conduit has to go from there to there, which I don't think it reaches, so we'll cancel that. Uh, I guess this is entirely pointless over here. Not bad, not bad. This year is PewDiePie and Mr. Beast are there, says BG Monster. Oh, are we talking about the rewind? It has a 50 50 ratio like to dislike. It's better than last time. Okay, um, I think we're ready to start dismantling some of this and putting our new stuff to the test, right? Look at this old copper factory right here. We don't need that. We're sick of copper. Copper is killing YouTubers with their legislation. Okay. Oh, not sure I wanted to do that just yet. What you should really do is bump it up to about here. Make a connection there. Then get rid of this. 
cool. Red X Hunter is here for three months. Red X Hunter, thank you ever so much for your three months of support. Saying you using impacts, I don't even know what impacts is, so I'm probably not using it. Is it a mod? I would like to look into modded at some point with this game. Okay, now we can get rid of all of that. I think what I want to do is get rid of that power connection. Oh look, there's like room for stuff here and there that I haven't thought about this time around. Um, and I think what we're going to do is add a couple of these so they can shimmy up resources from down here. Like that. Okay, but now we need like a second lot of mend projectors I think is the idea. So let's offset them from the last. Let's do them... Now let's do them every two. Like that. That looks good. That looks real good. Wait. I've sort of built them in a strange way, haven't I? They are all off by one. I'm sorry. There needs to be a belt running through there, doesn't there? Uh, I've done that wrong. That one doesn't want to be there. Cool. Alright, so then we put the router here. And then we just... Oh, the belt design is actually going to be different this time. there. Okay, so we'll take that and just over and over again. Like that, it can go through there. Oh, wait a minute. No. <laughs> I've got this entirely wrong again. Look at all the materials I'm wasting, eh? Uh, we just need to... Oh, here we go again. Okay, that took all of that offline, which is not what I was trying to do. Um, yeah, we need them back-to-back -back again, don't we? This is, like, seriously over the top now. Let's get a power node in here so it can all get connected again. Come on, let's build over here. There we go. Multiple connections is good. So we're out of plaster name again. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm starting to wonder, like, is this really what we want to do? Just keep building this up? Because, yeah, we can build the most wacky, ridiculous defense ever. But how many waves do we realistically want to defend here? So you can see... It's getting close to giving us a headache, but not really. Yeah, I think maybe we should just, I don't know, focus on getting surge alloys up? Maybe I can... Actually, it's this right here that we want. It's down there that we don't. We kind of want to get them uh, back into these things again, really. That's got 25, this one's got 21. Uh, lead and copper is maxed out. What is slowing you down? It is titanium, and that's probably because we pinched some over here. So we would need to create titanium somewhere in this area. I got an idea for this project. Let's take an air blast drill, put it there. We'll overdrive it and everything. Take two outputs. Okay, um, what does... Steam is an additional workshop and friend invite for multiplayer support as well. Yeah, we've got a lot to look into, don't we? We're just going to focus on the tech tree for this one. Let's get the tech tree done and then, like... And then maybe play to, like, wave 100 and see how the defense does. So... What are we looking for? Um, something to turn scrap into something else. What do we turn scrap into? I've completely forgotten. Oh my goodness me, I'm having a brain fart. Is it melter? Scrap into slag. Okay, so we could have a bunch of these on either side with routers. Uh, and then they would create a liquid that would go into... The melter separator? I don't know. 
separator, that's the one. Like that. I think that's literally it. So that thing puts this stuff. They probably want power as well, right? The melter, yeah, it looks like that works side by side. Then we got all of that coming out of there. We only want one thing. Uh, I should definitely pump this in the opposite direction. Okay, um, if I want to do this again, I want that to be the bridge, I think. Bridge conveyor from here to there. Then that means we can have that. Okay. Then it might be loopable. So we'll probably have an array going that way a little bit. Good. Let's see if it's loopable. That looks like it works to me. Let's put one more there and get rid of that. the nodes in here as well. Where are my little builder friends, eh? When you need them. Looks like we've got some baddies up the top here that ain't dying. No, they dead. They dead. Tune! Right. So I can overdrive this, remember? We can... And I can put extra drills in this area. So we should be seeing a bit of a boost. But we're not. There we go. Right, next thing we need to do is create some gates over here. We're going to create... Let's have a look. Okay, so we want the inverted sorter for three different materials. First one will be that, which actually we could possibly reroute down here but we'll come back to that one later lead and copper and then we're gonna put a bunch of things right here those are gonna be incinerators which I believe simply just incinerate things away okay and that leaves us with that going up there why isn't it letting titanium through have I misunderstood? So it should let that through, right? Why would it not let it through? So it doesn't let something through? What? You cannot chain sorters. Ah, okay. Is that like a technical limitation right there? I guess it kind of makes sense. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, junction here and there. And we add a little extra juice to the pile, you see. Right, now the next problem is that... We want those. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. And now all of this is backed up. Beautiful. Not a lot of extra juice coming through to our surge alloys, is it? But it's a little something. Uh, sort instead of conveyor, says 88 Erg. What did I do wrong? Anyway, you can see that we could have a bigger array of these, but there is just not space here. I could probably move these around and make it a little bit bigger. Um, but it's a nice idea, isn't it? It's a nice idea. And it gives us a little bit extra here and there. 
We could also drill up this forium and put it into there, but we're not really using that. Right, how are we doing on the defensive front? Looks like we're still absolutely fine. So, tech tree is the objective. And we are 150... 115... Yeah, so a ways to go before we get that one. That might be the last one, though. I can't help but feel there'll be a few more after it. So we need 400 more surge alloy. And I believe absolutely everything... Wow, look at that. Is going back into here. So that's going to be sending 100 off every so often. So are these two. Cool. So again, it is just titanium that is the slowing down factor. Because of all the plastoneum we're making. Do I need to keep plastoneum online? I don't think I need to. I think I can get rid of it if I want to. Let's find out. If we take plastoneum offline, then more titanium should pretty quickly... This should back up and then it should go the other way. Expand the slag array to the left and move the sorter array into the space above, says Tuxaban. I could do that. I totally could. But it's just a little something I wanted to do. Uh, another thing we might be able to do is expand it this way as well. Let me uh, think about that for a second. Could do that. Okay, now can I jump those over with bridges is a question. Also, I think the belts would be full at this point, right? Oh, that's also going to go right into where there's a uh, thing. Yeah, it kind of looks like it works. So is that producing slightly more? I'm not sure. Uh, clearly, more is getting outputted up there, but when it's full there, it will come down here as well. Yeah, it kind of looks like it makes a little bit more now. And anyway, that titanium belt could be doubled at this point. So now that titanium is full, it looks like silicon is short, right? So then we backtrack and look at silicon. Now, it's good to around here, and then it goes through that, and it looks like maybe this slows it down, because all of these are full. Huh. So one thing I could do is actually say, hey, I built all of those. Sorry for a second. Just going just gonna to do this. Put it back to how it was. And now we have full silicon again. So that looks like something got slowed down there. Maybe these things make like take silicon to maintain? Junctions are slower than belts. Yeah, I thought the junctions were determined by the speed of the items moving through them. Uh, we got a backup there of lead on the metaglass. And the metaglass is backed up here. And eventually I think that lead is going to be a huge pain in the butt. So uh, let's do that now. Okay, so then surge alloy faster than ever, basically. What more can we say? I think what I'd like to do is really just have uh, one of these running. Okay, that's got 100. That's got 96. Let's get rid of that then. It's got 102. So then we want a power node there. Get rid of that. Gonna take that up. That's not gonna have an issue, is it? Just send it all into one. That's all we need to do. And now that's going up pretty fast, so we'd have a prediction as to how quickly we're gonna get more of this. It's more that a junction is pushing into a router, says Tuxaban. It could be so. Okay, another 100 goes up. Let's go check and see how much we got. We've got enough for that now. And that's it. We did it. That's the entire tech tree at this point, right? What else? What more can we do? Right, so I'm going to research and find out what challenge is next. Obviously, we can try and go to 100 waves, which I think we will do on this world. Um, so we're not going to abandon it. But there are other options. 
like playing with mods and playing a custom game which looks really interesting so I'll have to do some research I really just like to play on a totally flat open world with no terrain as an obstacle um, if you've got any suggestions for what you think I should do next then tweet them at me and I'll uh, consider some stuff but my next stream is going to be a Hermitcraft stream peeps we're going to wrap this one up right here hope you've been entertained hope you've enjoyed yourselves hanging out with me I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who subscribed resubscribed donated and cheered of course, thank you to all of my patrons as well. I see Hypno is playing some vanilla Minecraft, so I'm going to send you over to fellow hermit hypnotized, my friends. There's the raid button in chat. I think... Did that work? It appeared to have not worked. Oh, okay. I can't see it for some reason. Anyway, hit the raid button. Right, I'll see you all later. Cheers for now. Bye-bye.